Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahal, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We're in the tour van today testing out new drivers from Ping, the G425 drivers, new here for 2021. Thomas, this is very exciting. Ping has been you know, awesome, of course, with their drivers over the years. Uh, G425 looks to be no different. Uh, three different models to test out today, um, and they each have their own unique characteristics that should influence ball flight, spin, distance, etc. But um, you know, first time, it's just, I want to get your first impressions, looking at the clubs uh, and knowing what you know about ping drivers from over the years. Uh, what do you think about G425? So first thing, what I know about ping, ping's always a very forgiving driver. Mm -hmm. Keeps up with distance, but the forgiveness level is very important to talk about. So they've really combined the technology with G400 Max and the G410 Plus drivers. So it's kind of a combination of shape, look, and technology. Mm -hmm. So they're really pushing that 10,000 mark. So yep. they're very, very high, high MOI drivers. So that's what I definitely kind of know. And I'm excited to really see that as we test it. Yeah, I mean, there's you know the three models and the one you mentioned is the G425 Max, which kind of combines the G400 Max and the uh, G410 Plus. So you're gonna get kind of get both of those in the G425 Max. You've got the LST and the SFT, which have been staples in ping drivers over the years. LST, of course, being low spin technology, kind of that uh, more forward center of gravity. SFT being kind of your anti-slice, um, straighten, straighten out a slice with a you know, high launch and forgiveness as well. So we're gonna test all three. And uh, you know, Thomas, you know, as we get this test started, you know, what, are we, what should we expect in terms of shots hit and then the specs uh, in terms of loft and then the shaft as well? Yeah, so we're gonna hit five shots with each model. Uh, I've got the Probably One X Golf Ball with the silver dot facing up using TrackMan inside. We've got the Odilla Rogue 130 MSI 70 golf shaft. So this is a new offering for Ping in 2021. Okay. So it's kind of like your very low launch, low spinner, very, very stable golf shaft. So I'm excited to see how that performs this year. So it's going to be very, very exciting as we test all these three different models mm -hmm. out and kind of compare them all. One thing I will kind of touch on is G425 Max is probably going to be, the, it's, it's going to fit majority of golfers. Yeah. But then we're also going to be testing the SFT and the LST model. The SFT model is going to for sure fit those players that really fight that slice. And the LST is going to fit those players with a higher swing speed. But predominantly, the max is going to fit kind of the majority of the golfers. Yep, absolutely. And one other note, too, is the, uh, the model or the club head we have for the SFT is actually 10 and a half degrees. And then we have nine degrees for the LST and then the max as well. So. Um, just one note and uh, to, to keep in mind when looking at the numbers during the testing today. So, um, Thomas, I'm excited for this. Uh, this should be a great test. Uh, of course, a reminder for viewers to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, we are very excited to be putting these uh, reviews together for you, and we enjoy your feedback, enjoy your comments, and interacting with you as well. So, um, subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more G425 stuff coming for you as well. So, um, Thomas, you ready to get after it here? Yeah, I'm excited to test some new technology. Okay, Thomas, you've got the G425 Max in hand right now. Um, Pink's telling us it's a little bit of a combination between the G400 Max and the G410 Plus. And so, I mean, are you able to see that? Like maybe looking at an address, for example, uh, with what you know about both of those uh, previous two drivers? Yeah, it definitely the size profile looks a lot like G400 Max. Okay. But these turbulators on top for sure look crisper like the G410 Plus looks okay. like there as well. So as you mentioned, the combination of the two to really push the envelope on MOI. So I believe 10,000 on the scale of the MOI, which is very, very yeah. forgiving for a driver when they push that weight back. It's a very forgiving driver. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, forgiveness, consistency, that's been Ping's kind of mantra for drivers in the past. So. Yeah, it's still got that, that nice, clean, matte finish. Yeah. As I mentioned, the turbulators for sure are pretty, pretty crisp mm -hmm. on, on top there as well. And then the shape is, I think it's, I think it's 460 cc's. Yeah. Uh, but it, you definitely see it's a very, very well-rounded, oversized club head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's start the testing here. We'll go probably go five shots each one here. And, uh, and then we'll look at the data here. So I'm, I'm excited to see what Ping has for us in 2021 and kind of beyond for these, this cycle of the G425. All right, let's do it. There you go. 
Pretty consistent though. Pretty easy to hit. Yeah. I mean, there was not a lot of curve, uh, yeah. a lot of, not a lot of left to right or right to left movement with that driver, Thomas, after five shots. And you mentioned consistency too. That carry distance is, uh, you know, looking very consistent across the board here. We're talking just over 280 for most of them, right? 282, 283, 286, 286 again. And then the one that really you kind of, the spin was a little bit lower, which kind of helped to get it to basically 290. But uh, what are your first impressions of the G425 Max? So I mentioned very easy to hit. It just felt like every time I was going to get away with it, if I slightly caught it on the toll, slightly caught on the heel. Very, very forgiving driver across mm -hmm. the board. So I mentioned forgiveness. You can see my smash factor. In some videos, I can push that 1.5 mark with, mm -hmm. with, with drivers. We noticed today it was at 1.48, so I wasn't quite swinging it perfectly, but I was still getting very, very good numbers across the board. So I was like about 2,200 RPM to spin on average, yep. launching at 15. It was going pretty far. It was, I'm not gonna lie, I was quite impressed. A little bit higher, so it was about 123 yeah. feet in the air, um, but very, very forgiving driver. Yeah, I know you like to keep that uh, height a little bit lower than 123, and maybe that's something we can accomplish with the G425 LST model. Uh, which we can test here next. I would like to see those two compared to each other. Well, let's do it. Okay, Thomas, well, we mentioned LST is low spin technology. Uh, so they got you know the weight a little bit farther forward, uh, kind of the center of gravity, so to speak, versus the max. So we got a spin drop of about 200 RPM there. Uh, I mean, the carry distance was basically the same. We're just seeing it run out a little bit farther because of 20 feet lower in peak height, which is right around that 100 feet mark that we talk about all the time. So. Uh, I know, Thomas, you're, this probably fits you better uh, in terms of the low spin club head, but um, just overall, give me the impressions hitting that club. I'm, no, I'm sure you noticed the difference in the shape too and kind of what it looks like at a dress. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. You talk about the spin. If you expand and look at the spin rate with the LST, those last three you'll notice were just hovering a little bit under 2,000 on the, yeah. on the spin. First two were about 2,200. Mm -hmm. That was the average of the G425 Max. Mm -hmm. So the two highest with the LST was about the average of the G425 Max. If you scroll down, you can see a little bit higher on those miss hits with the G425 Max and spin. So we're seeing on average about 200 yeah. RPM difference. But you can see how you've got some lower numbers, 17, 1800 mm -hmm. spin with the LST model there yeah. too. And then also a little bit more ball speed. Now I did, spin, I did swing about a mile, mile and a half and a half faster with the LST yep. there. But which also I'd expect more spin if I'm spinning if I'm swinging faster as True. well. So yeah. that's why you can kind of see that there as well. But you'll notice quite big difference in that launch angle and that height. So the height was as you mentioned, I want to be around about 100 feet in the air. Yeah. I said 123. That's usually a little bit higher than I would would like. Forgiving, you know, flying general generally pretty straight every single time. Uh, forgiving on the miss hits, but didn't I didn't quite maximize the distance that I wanted. LST for for me with the weight pushed a little bit further forward. I believe it's a 17 gram weight in the yep. back and more weight pushed forward where yep. the, the max is 26 grams in the back yes. with, with less weight pushed forward there as well. Right, so I mean, these are, I mean, the, the weight in the back that can be adjustable, right? So that's another thing we'll play around with in a future video is adjusting the, you know, the weight into the, the heel side and the toe side to kind of create a fade or a draw. Um, but with the max, you know, that weight is 26 grams and with that one, it's 17 because in the LST, there's more weight forward, as you mentioned. So that's going to drop that, that you know, launch, drop that spin, and create a more penetrating flight uh, for maybe those players that need to keep spin a little bit down like yourself. So um, that's the, the big difference there with the G425. The uh, other difference the is, max. too, the G425 LSTs, I think it's 445 cc's yes. mm -hmm. versus 460 with the Max. So I could definitely notice this looks more kind of that, that pear-shaped look to it. Uh, which I like to see when I'm looking down at, at, at a driver. I don't want to see a massive, massive driver because right. 
I, I usually don't have a hard time hitting close to the middle of the club face. Yeah. But for players that need a little extra help, the max is definitely a great option there yeah. as well. So LST is definitely for your faster swing sweep players, players that may hit slightly closer to the middle of the club face as well. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the last model in the G425 driver series is the SFT, which covers those golfers that maybe struggle with a slice or an open club face at impact. And so this is the SFT head here, which you know has more weight in the heel to help that club face turn over, close a little bit uh, more efficiently at impact. So we'll test that one here finally. And you can see that weight down here is, uh, I believe, 23 grams positioned in the heel. So that's gonna help that. So well, Thomas, we'll have you hit that one five times and then we'll see what the data tells us. Sounds good. So that's the one I feel like I left the face a little bit open on, <laughs> but you can see yeah. it wasn't going that way. So, I mean, for yeah. you at least, this is truly an anti-right club. I mean, yeah. you leave the face open and that's what happens, or at least it feels like that. Yeah. So, I mean, we can bring up the dispersion here and you can tell, I mean, everything left, nothing right of center. Um, so I do want to get your perspective just quick on the club head appearance because, you know, in looking at like the, you know, the driver heads, the, the, even the fairway woods as well, you could tell the SFT is larger footprint and then you can also see a little bit more weight, a little bit more on the heel. Um, so you can kind of tell the shapings that just spit off there compared to the other two anyway. Yeah, definitely a larger profile, especially compared to the LST model. Now it looks fairly similar. I think the G425 Max and the, the G425 SFT, I think they're both 460 cc, so mm -hmm. they're the same yep. kind of size. But you're right, you can definitely, at address, I can notice, and this could be a little bit to do with the loft as well. So there's 10.5 degrees of loft on this driver. They don't make a nine degree driver in the, in yeah. the SFT. This is what we're kind of initially testing with there as well. But also when I look down at address, it just looks like it's going to help me to get that ball to go yeah. a little bit left. But I'm gonna put that down and compared to the LST model, club face seems a little bit more closed yeah. as well. So that, and then combination of having that weight all mm -hmm. jammed in the in the heel with the driver, yeah. presents a lot of comps to know that I'm not gonna slice the ball. Right, yeah. I mean, you can kind of tell the the height is definitely different because of that loft, right? So we go over here and we can see the height. I mean, you're pushing 150 on that last one, which is, I mean, that's a t bit high for you, but someone that needs to get the ball in the air, maybe slices it to, you know, this is the club that they're gonna want to use and then Distance a little shorter, but again, loft uh, is yep. the kind of the, the key component of that. But I mean, overall, I think, you know, it's, it's nice when Ping tells us, okay, LST is gonna spin, uh, you know, a few hundred RPM lower than the max. The max is going to give you that low spin, high launch, and the SFT is gonna be anti-slice, give you, you know, a closed club face. And then we get Thomas to test everything and that's exactly what happens. And it was nice to see that from TrackMan here. With, these, with this data. Yeah, let's take a look at the data a little bit more and see if there's anything that really kind of stands out mm -hmm. to us. All right, perfect, sounds good. I'll give this over to you then. All right, Thomas, you've got the data in front of you. Um, I, you know, like I said before, I mean, this is, it's nice when Ping tells us what's gonna happen uh, and then we do our testing and that's exactly what turns out to be the case. So, um, you know, you can go through the numbers here and give us what the takeaways are, but I mean, I think all three of them for sure are great performing drivers. Yeah, regardless of the manufacturers, those engineers, they spend, now they're thinking one or two models ahead of time right now. They're probably working on the 2023 model yeah. right now. So they're, they're thinking ahead of the game. They're really trying to push the envelope. We know there's CT limits on, on ball speed, but they're trying to help maximize forgiveness, mm -hmm. trying to find a way to help those players out. And they spend a lot of time yeah. research and design, uh, searching through clubs. So let's kind of take a look at the numbers. So my club speed, 110 to 111. You can see pretty pretty similar comparing all, all three of them there. The LST I did swing just just a tad faster. Um, the G425 SFT was just a little bit less, and the Max was just a little bit less than the, the other two there. Uh, so it's kind of interesting if we look at 
the, the ball speed number. So right off the bat, we can uh, kind of notice that the G425 Max and the SFT ball speed was kind of very, very similar. Kind of a little surprising, the SFT is, we mentioned we got a 10 and a half degree driver. Yeah. So it performed really well, considering normally I see with more loft on a driver, a little bit less ball speed. We're kind of seeing that compared to the LST, but if you compare it to the Max, it didn't quite hit the Max mm -hmm. perfect. You can see I didn't quite hit the SFT perfect there as well. So you can see my smash factor with the LST actually was kind of the highest, and that's probably why my ball speed was the fastest. We're talking pretty, pretty close numbers across the board here. Numbers that weren't really that close though, if we look at spin and height. Yep. So we can see the G425 Max is about 2200 RPMs of spin. The LST was about 200 RPMs less than the Max. So right, basically right at 2,000. Then we had three shots there that were 18, 18, 1,800, and, yeah. 1,760, I can say there. So the highest spin I had with the LST was 2,290. So it was definitely, if you compare it to the max, you can see the lowest spin with the max was 2,000. Yeah, so the I mean, low basically the lowest you can get with the, the max was about the average with the LST. So yep. clear differences there, and that has to do, as we talked about with center of gravity, where the weight is positioned in the driver head. Yeah, and then speaking of kind of center of gravity and loft a little bit, you can see how the SFT, now 10 and a half degree SFT model was definitely not going to work very well for me if I'm trying to hit the ball as far as I can. Yeah. You know, so spin was 2850 on, on average, and it was consistently up there in, the, in that area there as well. So spinning a little bit more consistently. Now some players need that spin. Mm -hmm. Spin is very important to get fit for, um, but when I've got that much speed, I don't need to spin the, right. the pushing at 3,000 RPMs. Uh, if we look at the launch angle, LST launched slightly lower than the, can the other two, which is kind of interesting there. We talk about the height difference. LST was 100 feet in the air. We always talk about how I love to hit the ball about 100 mm -hmm. feet in the air. That's why I was hitting that thing 315 yards. So it was yeah. seven yards further than the max. And then the G425, because of lower spin, I mean, because of higher spin, was 20 yards shorter. Yeah, um, yeah so kind of interesting there comparing those two. Uh, yeah, so really kind of interesting comparing the numbers across the board kind of really briefly with, with them. Dispersion is really interesting as well. So you can see the G425 Max. I maybe didn't you notice my smash factor wasn't quite as high as the LST, so maybe didn't hit it perfect every single time. You can see the dispersion pattern is just a little bit larger. I really hit the 425 LST well. Yeah. So you can see my smash factor was the highest of them. You can see the dispersion pattern was kind of the smallest of them there as well. So it definitely kind of fit my eye pretty pretty nicely there as well. I know that's carry distance, so carry distance is pretty similar. We switch it to total distance there. Mm -hmm. Definitely kind of stands out that the LST, the lowest spinning model for the way that I, my attack angle, the way that my club speed is, yeah. is important for me to get that me around about 100 feet in the air with the driver. You can see that consistently went the furthest. Yep. So that's one thing that kind of stands out to me there as well. And then we can see the SFT model. So. There was one shot here that I left the face, well, left the face open. You thought you did. I that thought was, that I was did. your reaction to it. Yeah. And we looked at it, and I think it, would, it may have actually been still uh, a closed face. But um, yeah. that is the work of the, uh, actually, it was open. There. It was I mean, open. That's, that's yeah. the work of the, um, you know, the technology in the club, the waiting to you know, generate the draw there and keep that thing kind of left of, you know, I guess for you, the left of center. But for a golfer that does struggle with the slice, right there is a good example of, um, the the work that the club can do for you by you know, decreasing that left right movement and actually maybe even generating something moving to the left. So, yeah. Um, one other thing I wanted to touch on was you know the kind of that terminology of uh, you know high launch low spin is so it, it's it's what everybody wants right. Every manufacturer is going after that with driver. If you go to the G four twenty five Max, compare the launch angle uh, to the SFT, so you can see the the launch angle 15, 15 to two. with the G425 Max, and it's almost the same as the G425 SFT, which had you know de degree and a half more loft, but then the spin is still you know down in that low 2000s range at like 2200. So that is a good example of you know your high launch low spin combination that manufacturers are after. The G425 Max has that for golfers, uh, and of course the forgiveness packed in as well that consistent distance uh, is really good too. So I, I just wanted to mention that in the G425 Max, that's pretty good numbers. Yeah, that's definitely the, the head, head design difference. So you can see the SFT 
15.4 with spin rate at 2800, 2850. Mm -hmm. 425 max, 15.2, but. Lower spin. But yeah, about 700 RPMs less spin there as well. So just buying any random driver off the rack is not probably the best route to go. So it's important right. to make sure you do get fit to work with a fitter to make sure we get those optimal numbers dialed in really makes a huge, huge difference. Yep, and then of course golfers can trade in their old drivers when upgrading. Uh, the highest trade-in value is in the industry here at Second Swing, either in our stores or online at secondswing.com using the Second Swing Value Guide. Uh, another a nice little way to get kind of a discount, so to speak, um, on your, your new upgrade with a G425 driver. So um, Thomas, I mean, it's great testing here. We got some great numbers. Um, and these ping drivers look like they're you know, spectacular coming into 2021 and beyond. Yeah, what really impressed me today was LST. Yes, yeah, a smaller, smaller model, but it's still really forgiving. And for me, it fit me into the right spin optimal numbers. Make sure you work with Fitter to get you in the right numbers for sure.